Jeremy drives north to Nottinghamshire, where his mother Shirley has lived since his father died 10 years ago. As a family, we never really talked about ancestors, as it were. I mean, I do know that one of the Kilners had a car very soon after the car was invented, which is the equivalent of having a private jet today. You know, if it was 1901 or something like that, that would be like, so you think, well, God, you know, they must have been very successful. Hello, how are you? <laughs> how are nice you? To see you. Very well, very oh, well. Good, yeah. good time. Oh, yes, cup of coffee. I've come to pick your brains before senility takes you in the night. It's got me, it's too late. No, look, look. Well, you can, look. Well, you can still do a crossword. Look, whilst waiting for you, look. And the nearly football. Nearly finished. Oh, oh, did you see it? I did. Oh. I didn't see the end. I listened on the radio. It's funny, you know, when you're young, like you, you're not the least bit interested in family history. And then the older you get, you begin to sort of take an interest in your roots and... So you are quite interested? I am now. Why? No, you see, I never never saw my grandmother and she lived four miles away. Your mother was cut off? My mother quarrelled with her. She was a right old cub. <laughs> <coughs> Apparently. And she was a kilner? She was a kilner. Yes, and she was my mother's mother. The grandmother Shirley never saw was Annie Kilner, Jeremy's connection to the famous Kilner jar. Do you know anything about Kilner glass? Well, my mother used to bottle fruit, like you did in the war. You put fruit in these bottles, these jars, and then you boiled it, and everything expanded. You screwed the lid on tight with a rubber seal. Did and it, as it, I thought Kilner jars were a a lever arrangement. No, I've got some of those. They're not Kilner ones. These are screw top with a rubber seal and you screw the top on and then as the fruit or the heat contracted inside, it formed a vacuum. And the factory was in Conisborough, <coughs> where Conisborough Castle is. And what I'm interested Listen. in is the notion that you've got this, if it became a household name and globally too, because yes. they know about Kilner jars in America, I'm presuming it must have been colossal. Oh, it was. Enormous. He was a millionaire in his day, I should think. Was he? Well, he must have been. If he'd any business acumen at all, he must have been. But where did it go? I don't know. Oh, you didn't... Very interesting. <laughs> suddenly become interesting. <laughs> no, where did it go? No idea. Any answers? So more questions than answers. Well, there are, yeah, it is. It, it, there are more. A lot. I mean, what, what's happened there is I've found out that my mother, as I've always suspected, knows very little about the, the history of the, the family. Which does mean I'm left thinking, well, when did Kilner start? When did he finish? What caused him to finish? What happened to the money? A lot of questions. I suspect it's time to get on the road and go and find out, but I actually, at this point, can't think where to go. Conisborough is obvious, Denneby, find out if anybody there knows what happens to the factory. An entry in the 1841 census shows that John Kilner lived in a place called Whitwood, near Castleford in West Yorkshire. Profession, trade, employment, or it, uh, independent means it says giraffe, that's, and oh, glass. Glass M, I suppose that could be glass manufacturer. Hang on a minute. Now at least Jeremy has a place to go. Somewhere he knows the Kilners once were. Whitwood. Whitwood, there it is, look. Through Retford and out of Nottinghamshire. Hey, back into Yorkshire, very nice. Bye. No sign of incontinence yet from the old dear. That's always been the threat. The first sign of a wet cushion in our house and uh, we'd push her off Beachy Head. 
you know, I've, I never did fully understand why she left um, Yorkshire and moved, and moved, well, only just into Not Nottinghamshire. I've no idea, because all her friends are in Yorkshire, so I've no clue why she did that. <clears throat> and Nottinghamshire seems such a non-county apart from anything else. It's like Staffordshire, it's one of those counties that's there just to fill in gaps between the important ones, I think. We know from the piece of paper you just showed me that John Kilner lived near Castleford and that there was a glass works just up the road. So obviously we must go there and see what still remains and if anybody knows anything. <laughs>